Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. What I do know is that this is the latest instalment of Hell Yeah! Where I discuss recently or soon to be released makeup and let you know if I like it or not. These can occasionally get very sassy and are usually quite long. So, as I've said for some considerable time, and I've heard echoed in many other less imaginative journals, Sammy the Sloth Store recommends you grab a drink. Grab a snack, push your feet up and get comfy, because here it comes. Right, I'm going to move you slightly that way and I'm going to lean a bit this way, so I've got room to put pictures in. I may have taken you too far actually by the time I lean from my back. There we go. The fan is on because despite it being 9 o'clock, it is ridiculously hot in my kitchen already. So, this is the Essence Fruit Mood Collection. Uh, grapefruit Lip Balm Refreshing All Over Mist with SPF 25 in Fruit Up Your Energy. Mini Brush Set in the Mood for Mixed Fruit. Uh, mini Lip Set which has got a mini jelly lip gloss and a mini liquid lipstick. Jelly primer in Be the Coolest One in a Melon, watermelon scent, a watermelon fan, mini scented nail polish in Let's Melong Together with a watermelon scent and Be My Main Squeeze, which has got a grapefruit scent and a mini fixing spray. So, what do we think? Um, I like the idea of the spray with the SPF in it. I think that is very sensible because at the moment I'm using... Um, I use my Gerard Slay All Days to set my face. But then throughout the day I use... I've got a MAC lavender in the front room and then I've got... The mini mac here I've got this one and that's probably underneath the picture isn't it that I've just put on. I've got these two mini macs as well that I use in the kitchen and those I spray on during the day when I'm hot to cool myself down and to help refresh my makeup if I'm wearing any so I really like the idea of the all over mist having SPF 25 in it. I'd prefer it if it was a minimum SPF 30 but at least if you're spraying to refresh your face you're actually topping up your SPF at the same time. Um, that I will try and find. I need to wiggle already, sorry folks. Yes, and there's going to be quite a bit of that through this film because I am on the struggle bus today. Uh, I may cut them out, so there may be quite a few jump cuts. Um, yeah, I'll probably try and pick up the setting spray or the, the all over mist with the SPF in it. Um, and the fan looks kind of cute actually. As for the rest of it, it feels it feels like it's aimed at teenagers or girls just or boys getting just getting into makeup. Um, so I probably won't 
pick those up. But it's definitely. Oh, good lord. I cannot get comfortable, folks. I'm sorry. That spray I'll definitely be picking up, though, once I can find it. Honestly, oh, anybody think I've got a case of the Jimmy's? Jimmy Giles. Rhyming slang for piles. Um, moving on, Melt Cosmetics have turned their plum stack into a palette. This seems to be something that they're doing at the moment. They did their neon stack as a palette as well. They've done a, a bronzy one as a palette. So for people who've already got the stack, you've already got half of these colours anyway. And to be honest, just recently Melt Cosmetics seem to be very hit and miss with their quality. Now, I like the look of those colours. Um, but I've, I've got those colours in a lot of different palettes already, so given that Melt are expensive for us to get hold of, especially here in the UK, uh, and given the hit on this quality, that's probably going to be a, a pass from me on that one. Physicians Formula have redone their packaging. This is the old packaging. Look at the pan I've got on that bronzer. Oh. This is the old packaging. This is the new, this is bronzer, this is light bronzer. Um, so yeah, it's still ridiculously thick and it still has this crazy thing in the bottom that nobody ever uses. So basically they've just freshened the look up. As far as I can tell the formula hasn't changed. So. Obviously it's a hell yeah because I like their bronzers, um, I've got one of their blushes as well, it's very subtle. Um, but yeah, I mean that's it's a hell yeah from me because I like the bronzer. The only reason I picked one up in the new packaging is because I wanted to try the light bronzer. Um, I'd avoided the light bronzer initially because I know a lot of people were saying it went very orange on them. Um, but I'm actually wearing it today and I don't think it's too bad. So, Tom Ford are coming out with a new foundation called the Traceless Soft Matte Form uh, Foundation. Soft Focus Matte Foundation with a Hydrating Silky Formula. Soft focus microsphere powders blur the look of imperfections and wear extending pigments provide medium to full buildable coverage. 40 shades, quite well distributed shades. Uh, but it's $88. For 88 bucks, Tom Ford can sit in my damn kitchen and put it on for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. I don't care how good that damn foundation is. I am not paying $80 for a... Well, nearly $90 for a bloody foundation. Not when Koki can do it for 15 quid and collection can do it for, I think that was a tenner, or was that one that was eight quid. Um, the most I've spent on foundations is, I think, 40 quid. I would not spend more than that on a foundation. A lot of my high-end foundations I've bought when they were on special offer anyway. 
Um, I think that's an absolutely bloody ridiculous price for a foundation. And I think it's in this day and age, especially given the current climate, with so many people furloughed and out of work, that's an absolute bloody disgrace to put that price tag just because of your name. <laughs> Not happy. Uh, Morphe's collaboration with Maddie Ziegler. I have no idea who that is, I'm probably completely out of touch. Um, reasonably pretty looking palette, I like the third row, the rest of the palette is a tad yawn inspiring, for me anyway. Uh, palette 25 bucks, lip and cheek kits available in three shades, 18 bucks and a do bomb face gloss stick. 12 bucks. Um, yeah, see the colourful row with the teal and the magenta and the cyan and the yellow and the, the lovely hot pink shimmer. Or maybe the bottom row that's got the purple and the, the mulberry in it as well. That's I like the bottom two rows but the top two rows are a bit neutral. I think they missed a trick there. They could have done two separate palettes similar to the way they did the um, the vault for um, Jacqueline Schill and they could have done one neutral which is the top two rows and then one brighter or more colourful, which is the bottom two rows, and then maybe sold them at, I don't know what, 14 quid each, and then 25 quid if you buy the two together, so you save three quid. Because um, if those bottom two rows were available as a palette, I might have been tempted to get it. But I don't like big palettes. I don't really want to get bigger than a 15 or an 18 palette if I can help it. Um, and I don't wear neutrals enough to buy more neutrals. I've got so many palettes that have got neutrals in them. Just... Yeah, that's a no from me, I'm sorry. W7, who obviously are known for doing their dupe palettes. Now, I don't have an issue with dupe palettes because if you cannot afford the high-end palette, at least you can use a drugstore palette in the same colourway and get the same kind of looks. Um, I don't agree when they do it with indie brands, but with big companies like your Urban Decays, your Anastasia, um, you know, all of that, like, I, I don't see an issue with duping them, because if you can afford to buy the Urban Decay one, you're going to buy the Urban Decay one. If you can afford to buy the Anastasia one, you're going to buy the Anastasia one. You're not going to look at the Anastasia one and go, well, I can afford it, but I'm going to get the cheaper version and hope it's going to be the same quality. Um, regular viewers will know I anti-hauled the, uh, the the Naked Honey palette but ended up buying it on Depop and loving it. <clears throat> W7 are now bringing out a dupe for it <laughs> called the Queen Bee. All the buzz. Um, 12 gorgeous shades and metallics and looking at it it's looking very very similar in terms tonal wise to the honey palette so if you have wanted the Urban Decay honey palette and couldn't afford it you now have something which is laid out in a very similar fashion so you can pick that up instead and uh, 
still be able to follow the tutorials because the colours are pretty much in the same order I believe. Um, so another grey hair, I really should dye my grey hairs. Right, um, so that's a, for me it's a no because I've got the honey palette. If I hadn't got the honey palette it would have probably been a hell yeah. Seeing as how I got tempted to buy the original. Uh, Tarte, as usual, have brought out their colour themed mascara. Um, they did this, they do this pretty much every year round about Pride. I know Pride was. Are we in August yet? I think we are. Are we in August? Or are we still in July? I genuinely don't even know what the date is. I think it's August. Anyway, they brought out their Lights Camera Lashes in um, rainbow packaging. Um, I believe this is actually part of their Sugar Rush range. So I don't know whether that's going to become a permanent packaging for it or not. Um, but the mascara inside is exactly the same as you would get in the ordinary packaging. It's just pretty packaging. I do like the Tarte mascara. I will admit that. It doesn't flake on me. Um, I don't get, if I'm, if I'm having a particularly oily day, I don't get like little tight, little spider spots. I don't get any of that. Um, and it actually lasts really well without drying up very quickly which is another good thing that I like. It's not too wet initially, so you don't have to sort of open it, leave it a week or two and then start using it. Um, but it doesn't dry up quickly, it lasts a full sort of four months. Right, now, uh, Blush Tribe is no more. And Salma, who runs Blush Tribe, wasn't going to start another company, she was just, um, her supplier in China because of the Covid thing had gone bust, she had tried to find an alternate supplier but none of them could match the quality for the price that she'd been paying, so that's why Blush Tribe closed. So many people, myself included, were so disappointed that she did some research, she's managed to find herself a new supplier and has launched the Miali Beauty. Um, these are the first few palettes, they're not live yet, the website is live so you can actually see what's going to be coming but they're not live yet. Um, there's this Yaya or Yaa palette. Yaya? Yaya. Um, it's a mix of nudes and greens. And she's got, yes I know, not another nude palette, but this is created upon request for South Asians. So, um, obviously different colour themes apply to different areas around the world. For example, the the Sonia palette that uh, Blush Tribe did was um, a bridal palette and it's not the sort of bridal shades that you would think to use over here. You know, it's not your naked palette, it's, it's colourful. So this was requested by customers from South Asia. I actually, I quite like that. I know I was saying about neutrals and stuff, but I like the look of the greens in that. Um, those, the two green shimmers top row and bottom row, although they look similar, she has actually swatched them side by side so you can see that one is actually darker than the other. Um, she's also bringing out the Yasmin or Jasmine palette dedicated to her mother. Um, 
that's really pretty that's I will probably pick this one up um, it's got some lovely sort of deep red tones um, coming through the gold so there's a nice green there a nice purple yeah I will probably pick up if you look at those swatches that Yasmin palette because that looks really pretty and then there's a sister palette to Yaya which is um, Yaya's sister palette will be launched with Yaya and Yasmin together and that's the Ayubia palette which is more of your kind of traditional rainbow style palette but again that's very very pretty of the three I'm most drawn to the Yasmin and I would probably pick that one up um, the Yaya I like the look of but there are a lot of neutrals in it so I'm kind of mm, am I actually going to be using it? probably not as much um, Sorry, folks. Oh, the struggle bus. Uh, See, so yeah, I'm definitely going to pick up the Ayuba palette. Uh, sorry, the Yasmin palette. And we'll possibly pick up Ayubia as well. Uh, there is also a collaboration coming out with uh, Rebella which looks like this um, again there's it's like half neutral half pink but those first two neutral shades have almost got like a mauvey undertone to them so I'll need to see proper swatches I think on skin tone to, to judge that one but I do like the look of that there's the website as it stands at the moment with those four palettes listed but you can't actually buy them yet because she hasn't got the stock in the UK uh, so Yasmin, Yaya and Ayubia are all going to be 28 and they've all got 15 shades and then the Re-X Bella palette with 12 shades is going to be £26 so good prices for Indie as always um, now I believe that my bomber code will work with Miali in the same way that it did with Blush Tribe um, however I'm not entirely sure so I will have to check that and find out for you. Um, I also obviously cannot um, suggest you buy them and recommend them until I've tried her new formula myself because she has got a new supplier. So I will pick one of those up as soon as I can and get it tried out for you and let you know what I think. She's also bringing out um, a pigment and glitter primer and a highlighter palette which clearly is aimed at deeper skin tones because there's pretty much only one of those that's going to work for me. Not that I'm complaining because there are plenty of highlighter palettes out there that I can use. Um, Rebella is a makeup artist and lash technician, Re Khan, uh, based in London. There's her Instagram page if you were interested. So, yeah, uh, Blush Tribe has been phoenixed from the ashes, which was, I think, as much of a surprise to Salma as it was to everybody else. So, Wet n Wild are coming out with a new collection, My Melody, My Melody and Kuromi, 
which has got the My Melody Shadow Palette for a tenor, Kuromi Shadow Palette for a tenor, Blush Lighter Palette for a tenor, Liquid Matte Lip Colour for five quid, well, five bucks each in two different shades. Lip gloss, five bucks each, two different shades. Dual ended eyeshadow brush for a tenner. Dual ended face brush for a tenner. Cosmetics bag for nine quid. Uh, these are obviously kawaii um, anime type things that I have absolutely no idea what they are, but they are super cute. Uh, that's obviously the blush lighter palette. That's <laughs> just ridiculously cute. Look at that little skull imprint on the on the bottom right one. That's amazing. Um, that's obviously the My Melody palette. Very pink, very pastel, but again a lot of neutrals. Not many mattes in there by the look of it either. That's the Karomi palette. Now that's more my colour style, I will admit. Um, we don't always get all of the Wet n Wild releases over here in the UK, but if this comes over, I might pick up the Kuromi palette because um, I quite like that that colour combination. So yay! There we go. That's a maybe baby for me that one. Colourpop have bought out their pretty fresh foundation. 16 bucks each, 40 shades, but at the moment only 29 of them are in Ulta. Um, again, looks to be a pretty fair distribution. Two rows of fair light, two rows of medium, one row of tan and one row of deep. Um, It doesn't look like I'd be the lightest shade, it looks like I'd be one of those three, either 20N, 30N or 33C. <laughs> Sound like bra codes. Um, goes relatively light, relatively dark. Can it be improved? Of course it can. Um, but launching with 40 shades, it's going to cover a lot of people there and it's more than a lot of companies can do so um, yes yeah, it's, it's a uh, again it's a hydrating foundation I wasn't overly impressed with their original Colourpop foundation that didn't wear very well on me at all so I doubt very much if the hydrating one will wear on my skin tone very well at all either um, so it's probably going to be a pass from me. Plus, by the time I've then paid ten bucks to get it over here, plus import tax to get it through the country, um, it's not going to make it a very cheap foundation to try. If it comes up in my shade on Depop at some point, I may pick it up and give it a try if it's a sensible enough price. But it's probably going to be a no from me on that one. Elf have launched their Ride or Die Lip Balms, uh, an intense lip balm treatment that gives you the ultimate hydrated and plumped lips. 100% vegan and cruelty free, infused with rose oil and collagen, repairs dry lips and adds a sheer wash of colour. Mighty Mint is clear, Boss Berry is a sheer red berry. Tough Cookie is a sheer warm caramel and Just Peachy is a sheer orange peach. Five dollars each on Elf's website. Being in that kind of tube I means you're going to have to apply it with your finger. Who's going to want to do that in, in the summer when it's sticky and there's flies and wasps and things around? Which means you're more likely to use it as an overnight treatment. But if it's an overnight treatment, why do you need a tint in it? I don't understand 
I mean, if they put it in one of those ones with like the slanted tops, you could actually use that to apply it with, or like, even like a roller ball at the end. I'm going back to the 90s now. Um, that would have been better. I I genuinely don't understand why they've chosen that particular style of packaging for it. Um, but you know, lip treatment's a lip treatment, I suppose. Makeup Obsession are jumping on the Monotone Palette um, Mini Palette bandwagon. Um, started, I believe, by Colourpop. Obviously, uh, I Heart Revolution went down that road as well with their little nine pans with the heart shape pans. I think I am. Um, yeah, the film is live of the green one that I used. But Makeup Obsession have now got their version. We've got a teal, a blue, a lilac, a yellow, an orange and a pink. It's telling me to take my tablets if I haven't already done so. Sadly I have already done so and I'm still in pain. Uh, they're going to be five quid, six euros, seven bucks. So, yeah, actually, they're going to be cheaper than the Colourpop ones are. So if they're any good, if you haven't already got those colours from Colourpop, then um, they might be worth picking up. I mean, obviously, I've picked up a lot of them from um, Colourpop anyway. So I don't need any of those, but... If there is a specific one that you really want me to try out of those six, let me know in the comments box and I'll see if I can pick one up for you because I can always pass it on to my goddaughters once I'm done with it. Um, staying with Makeup Obsession, they've also bought out this Nude is the New Nude, which is a 16 pan palette oh no sorry that's golden honey is the 16 pan nude is the new nude is a 9 pan plus one shimmer ok so it's a 10 pan palette isn't it why don't you just say 10 pan instead of 9 plus one who writes these anyway Nude is the new nude, is like the black is the new black palette, except it's nude. Uh, if you haven't already got a nude palette, there's a nude palette coming. Six quid, seven euros, nine bucks. Or oh, the golden honey palette, amber, chocolate and gold shades. Uh, 10 quid, 11 euros, 15 dollars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Just no. Right, Makeup Rev, the Forever Flawless Spirituality Palette. Mm, home to both matte and satin shades from burning oranges to dreamlike purples and magical pops of gold, silver and pink pressed glitters. Hype pressed glitter. 12 quid, 12 euros, 15 dollars. Not that many purples in it for calling it a purple palette though, is it really? It's weird because the first picture of it looks like you've got a lot of purples there. But then the remaining pictures on the swatches, they don't look as purple. So I'm very confused as to what that actually looks like. Uh, but it's a pass from me. 
Urban Decay are bringing out this eyeshadow palette called Stoned Vibes. Looks to be the pressed glitters or that wet foily type texture that was in the Huda Beauty. Um, what was it there? Not the most recent one, but the one before it that she brought out. If they're foiled shades, I quite like the look of it in terms of colours available. If they're glitters, you can shove that back where the sun don't shine. Thank you very much. Um, it's just, it's really sad that Urban Decay used to lead the way when it came to innovation and design and you, you, you'd look at their palettes and go oh my god that's amazing I want that you know I remember looking back at you know some of the vice palettes thinking oh, that's just stunning and I just look at this and I'm like it's okay uh, it's not really my kind of thing but anyway <clears throat> moving on Pinky Rose Cosmetics are coming out with Pump That Base Sticks. Uh, in various different colours. What on earth are they? Oh, okay, it looks like they're multi use sticks that you can use as eyeshadow and. individually nine quid or a set of them together with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve of them for ninety quid. So you are actually saving thirty quid if you buy the, the whole set but not really my kind of thing. Mainly because cream shadows don't usually go very well on my eyes because they're so much more flexible than a 20 year old. Winky Lux are bringing out the S'mores Tri Coloured Balm. Hydrates and conditions your lips with that ultra smooth pout, leaving you with a sheer nude tint. Did we mention it's marshmallow scented? Okay. If you want to pay 18 bucks for a lip balm, you you do you. Although that being said, I did pay. I think it was 12 quid for the uh, Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum lip salve, but that is amazing. Um, they're also bringing out an eye and cheek palette in the smalls range which would be 16 quid 16 bucks so the palette is two bucks cheaper than the lip balm who decided that was a good idea good good reef it's just ridiculous uh everybody knows raw beauty christy broke the internet with her palette or broke pure's website anyway um Again, I wish this had the option of just buying half of the palette because I like the bright side but the neutral side is just... I don't need it. So I'm not going to buy the whole thing if I'm only ever going to be using half of it. Which is a shame because I, I really like Christine. Congratulations on your pregnancy after 15 years of infertility. Um, I might see if I can dupe her palette in a similar way that I duped the Moerte palette. Um, I'll see if I can dupe it with colours from, from my collection. But uh, they are restocking. I believe there's going to be a pre-order for it next time round to uh, try not to break the website again. 
but um, yeah if, if you like it then uh, you do you on that one right, brown melanin makeup have brought out these lip glosses uh, five beautiful colours nourishing non-stick formula 100% vegan and cruelty free in fantasy La Rain, Ice, Ankara and BGM they do look really nice um, I've got the um, I've got one of their palettes and I really like it so I might pick up one or two of those glosses to try I'm not a, I'm not a particularly gloss wearing individual but sometimes in the summer if if it's too hot to put makeup on I'll sunscreen concealer the dark circles chuck a lip gloss on out the door it's me done um, so I might pick one of those up. I'm yet to decide. Be Perfect Carnival 3 Love Tahiti. It's the third Stacy Marie palette. Um, if it's as pretty on the inside as the outside cover shows. Yes please. I'm guessing the Get Wet things around the side are six different highlighters and it looks like we've got either liquid lipstick or gloss and lashes. So uh, I will let you know more once I've seen what the inside looks like. Uh, NARS is coming to Boots in the UK. Looks like Boots is going to be our Sephora folks. They seem because they've got Fenty. Uh, they've got NARS now. They're getting a lot of higher end brands coming in, which is actually quite nice because it can be difficult to get some of those over here. Uh, so that would be useful. Patrick Starr has launched his one size makeup brand. As I understand it, each thing he releases is going to be in a different shade of the rainbow, so starting with red. Um, and he's got these face wipes and a face remover, makeup removing mist. 24 bucks for the mist to take it off and 15 bucks for 21 wipes okay one I thought we were getting away from using makeup wipes in the world anyway two I don't care how big they are I'm not paying 15 quid for a packet of wipes Congratulations, Patrick, but I'll, I'll see what else you bring out, I think. Ouija Cosmetics are going to be bringing out this Ouija palette. Looks really lovely. Very pretty colours, very autumnal. Great for Halloween. Um, and they've also got long lasting lipsticks that are 100% smudge and waterproof, cruelty free and vegan. And there's the swatches. That orange looks amazing. Um, they've got a liquid liner out which is smudge waterproof, cruelty free and vegan with a soft and delicate texture. Makes it smooth, flexible and easy to use. Bat Your Eyes Mascara, smudge waterproof, cruelty free, vegan. Um, they are an indie brand based, I believe, in the UK. Launch 
date, 1st of August. So, there you go. But they look very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, struggling folks. UK, F I I N X U K dot com have got these uh, super pigmented matte lip creams. Matte but cream, very confusing. Uh, seven quid each in those ten shades. Absolutely no idea anything else about them except that entirely up to you if you want to test them out or not Fenty Skin New Culture of Skin Care The problem I have with this is that you are going to get influencers raving about Fenty Skin Care within a week or two of it being out. You have to use skincare for at least a month to see a result. Preferably six to twelve weeks to see a result. So if we start seeing influencers raving about this before the end of September, because the launch date was 31st of July. If I see any of them raving about this before the end of September, I'm just going to ignore it. Because unless they've had it for at least six weeks, then there's absolutely no way they can effectively say it's made a difference because it takes that long to see whether you actually have made a proper difference to your skin. Uh, that being said, do I think it's likely to be high quality going by the rest of her products? Yes. Um, it's probably going to be aimed at issues that people with more melanin in their skin get, so I'm hoping it has SPF that doesn't go ashy on them, moisturisers that don't go ashy. Um, I know a lot of my my um, my black friends suffer with very very dry elbows and knees and heels, so I would, I would imagine there's going to be some kind of intense moisturisation, which is quickly. Um, absorbed because that's the problem they get they they slather their heels and their knees and, and their, their elbows and they have to sit there for like 20 minutes half an hour while it soaks in otherwise they're slip sliding all over the place um, so I'll be interested to see reviews on that after people have been using it for a while Colourpop are getting into the freckle market they're getting freckle pens um, in two different shades, soft brown and deep brown. I'd like to try them, but again, by the time I've then put 10 quid shipping on, plus import fees, yada yada yada, I should wait for Makeup Rev or W7 to come out with their version. Because I would quite like to add some freckles in. I think I'd look cute with freckles, what do you think? But if you are in America, you can now pick up cheaper than Freck. Um, and in two different shades as well, which is good. Milani have a range of four different Make It Last setting sprays now. Natural, Dewy, Matte and Protect, which has SPF 30 sunscreen. So... 
I am going to be looking out for that as well. So that's the Essence one with SPF 25 and the Milani one with SPF 30 that I will be looking out for. Um, I really like the idea of having an SPF in the setting spray so that it's because it can be difficult to reapply your sunscreen over your makeup without ruining your makeup. Uh, Juvia's Place have got new nude hydrating velvety matte lipsticks. They have uh, the browns, the oranges and the mauves or pinks. Uh, of the browns I am liking the look of muted, that's got my name all over it. Of the pinky or orangey shades, Libra looks very nice as does In Vogue. And of the mauvey ones, I want all of them, but if I only have one, it would have to be chic. So those look nice, nice bright pink packaging. Revolution Pro uh, coming out with this 24 karat gold collection. Um, 24K Shadow Palette, Gold Priming Serum and Gold Setting Spray. Palette is... That's weird. 14 quid, 13 euros, 20 dollars. I don't know if they've got the euros and the pounds the wrong way around. Because um, normally it's... Being a UK base, it's normally cheaper in pounds and than it is in euro because of the exchange rate. 18 pound shadow palette. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Buttery smooth, warm, cool, and true golden shades plus richly pigmented warm transition shades in matte, reflective, pearl, and glitter formulas. Priming serum, 15 quid, 18 euros, 20 bucks. Infused with plant derived collagen, hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5. Will leave the skin hydrated, feeling plumped and prepped for long lasting makeup. Plus, the unique gold flex will give the skin a gorgeous, natural looking glow without feeling heavy or cakey on the skin. How is that different from their gold elixir oil, which has gold like glitter pigments in the bottom of it? And 24k gold setting spray, 8 quid, 9 euros, 10 bucks. Stunning setting spray will keep your makeup in place while the golden shimmer will give your skin a gorgeous warm glow. If it's anything like the other one they had that had shimmer in it, you end up looking like a frigging glitter ball. It was not soft and subtle like it was in the MAC ones. Um, if you've got a party for 10 year olds and they're all coming as fairies and elves, then I'd say get that because it'll be perfect to spritz on all of them and look like a fairy has farted dust everywhere. Can you tell I'm not impressed? Nearly there now folks, not much longer to go. VE Cosmetics, um, I've got their um, Beetlejuice palette, the palette for the recently deceased. And I'm liking the look of the Grimoire palette as well. Have got some, they've swatched some of their blues and green lipsticks as requested by different people. I must admit, the So Below purple one is absolutely calling my name. As is, you know, looking at that spirit 
looks to be a dupe for Crocodile Tears. Intuition looks like it could be a dupe for Huntington Beach. So Below looks like Royalty. Rebel looks like Blue Velvet. Dark Magic looks like Abused. Diamon looks like Dominatrix. Witchcraft looks like a deeper version of Androgyny. So if you're looking to replace some Jeffree Star colours, the cosmetics could be the way to go. I do have a code with them. It is a bomber in all caps. I do not earn from it. Um, W7 are also bringing out this Melon Madness palette. Eight pigmented shades which give off a watermelon scent for six quid. I quite like the look of that, I will admit. Again, it's very neutral, but it's the kind of palette that I would pick up for my goddaughter knowing that she could use that and produce some really good looks with it. But likewise, again, it could be the kind of palette that you could chuck in an overnight bag if you're staying at your friends and just want to do something really basic and just quick the next morning makeup-wise. Elf are uh, alongside their bite-sized makeup quads that they've had out for some time now. They are bringing out face duos, three bucks, which probably means they'll be about four or five quid over here. Uh, blush and bronzer. Now to me, they look <sighs> sorry folks. They look a lot like the cover effects blushes and bronzers with a shimmer one side and a matte the other. But unlike cover effects they're not 30 quid. Um, I will most likely pick one of those up to try, one of the blushes anyway, uh, to try once they hit the UK ELF website. Because sometimes it can take a while before they hit the UK one even though they've been on the American one for some time. BH Cosmetics on National Ice Cream Day, who even knew that was a thing, um, have announced these six new palettes, I believe, and a brush set. Again, going down the monochrome route, but rather than the square nine pan, like Colourpop and My Heart Revolution and Huda and Makeup Obsession, racking the brain. They're doing eight pan ones instead. Cotton Candy, which is pinks and purples, Bubblegum, which is blues, uh, and teals, Cherry on top, pinks and reds, Sugar Cone, which is the neutrals, Orange Sorbet, peaches and orange, and Pistachio, which is the green. Now. I am liking the look of that green one. I may have to pick one of those up. They're 18 bucks each, so I'm not sure what they're going to be when they hit the UK, but I'm super tempted to pick one of those up, that green one I like the look of. Um, I quite like the blue one as well, and the pink and purple one. The brush set is 24 bucks. Two face brushes and the rest of them look like eye brushes. In a pretty pink handle with sprinkles on. And then, things that I spotted this morning literally just before filming. P. Louise are bringing out a new collection called Worldy. Okay. Uh, I will admit I quite like the look of that palette. I like the look of the you know the blue row, 
a green row and then a purpley greeny orange row. I quite like the look of that. It's going to be expensive though with P. Louise, isn't it? And there's lipsticks and have the a look of it. Lip liners, brushes. What have we got? Eyeshadow palette. Well, apparently the front cover is pink sand in it. Eye brush set and two nude lip duos with a lip liner and a lipstick. Haven't got any prices yet, just says coming soon. So, we shall see, but I do quite like the look of that colour scheme, I will admit. It's the first one of the P. Louise palettes that I've looked at and gone, hmm. But it's probably going to cost a damn fortune, so. Plus, she's been a little bit shall we say complicated I'm sure there's yeah there's been more than one film of her using the n word I was singing along with a song, yes, but if you're white, you don't sing that word. I very often sing. Gangster's Paradise at karaoke, but it gets to that word, and I either use the word homie, or I skip it and pretend I'm taking a breath. Um, Ciate have launched a collab with Smiley World. I guess is as good as mine on that one. Wink on eyeshadow palette, 29 bucks. Smile on lipstick, 20 bucks, two shades. Be kind, which is a nude, and be proud, which is the red. Smooth on lip balm, 18 bucks. Keep an eye on coloured mascara, 16 bucks. In shades, be bold, which is teal. Be Brave, which is neon pink, and Be Happy, which is a neon yellowy green. Like the idea of the coloured mascaras, I will admit. That neon yellow green and teal. Mm, they're calling me a little bit. Stick on nail stickers for 18 bucks. Energy Boost eye patches, 25 bucks. Well, the only thing calling me from those are the mascaras. But do I really want to pay 16 bucks for a mascara when I've got a shit ton of Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks that can dupe as coloured mascaras that I already own that I'm not going to use on screen as a lippy. Decisions, decisions. Oh, W7 again. A new bronze icon bronzing powder, compact big enough for your favourite brush, super buildable bronzer for the face and body which is formulated to give that luminous glow and some shimmer. This bronzer is suitable for any skin tone and won't come out cakey when applied to the skin. Skin tone, by that I take it they mean cool, warm or neutral because that sure as shit ain't showing up on a lot of my mates and finally and this does excite me Blue Hydrangea who is one of the UK drag queens from the UK version of RuPaul's uh, drag queen show has got a collab coming soon with Be Perfect Cosmetics with a percentage of profits going to the Rainbow Project that I am excited about drag queen and be perfect that's going to be hopefully some very very bright colours 
And that, my loves, is it. We are there. We have finished the entire chat. So, that's my thoughts on current and recently released makeup items. So, I hope you found this helpful. If you're one of my regular babies, please double check you are still subscribed. YouTube are still unsubscribing people, but they are leaving my films in your newsfeed so it's not obvious that you have been deleted. Let me know what you think. Do any of the ones that I mentioned today call to you? Uh, what do you think of those two different companies coming out with SPF setting sprays? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's something more companies should get into? Let me know your comments below. Let's have a chat. Let's have a chit chat. A lovely British chit chat. How lovely. Oh. Okay, clearly the heat is getting to me. I need to go and sit down with a cold drink. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. Uh, I'm not always this mad. Sometimes I'm worse. Uh, usually I'm better. That could be a lie. Either way, you've made it this far through, so I'm guessing something appealed to you. Even if it was just my dulcet tones helping to calm and relax you. Which I'm told a lot of people do. They'll put one of my films on just to listen to my voice. Because it helps calm them down. And that is such a lovely, lovely thing to say. I'm glad I can help. As someone who suffers from anxiety attacks myself, if I'm helping calm people then that's a good thing. So if you'd like to join the 4F family it's super easy to do. You hit that red subscribe button, turn it from red to grey, then you ring my bell, ring my bell and choose all notifications and yes and all notifications and yes and you keep doing that until YouTube stops asking you the same damn question in 16 different ways. And then hopefully you will get to see uh, most of my films. Although Hubby's been a subscriber from the very start. And he gets told about one in four. And sometimes he gets told about them a month after they've gone up. Uh, so that being the case, if you've enjoyed this and if you haven't already had enough me time, I've got a lot of playlists that you can look through. I've got makeup reviews, I've got uh, tutorials, I've got collabs, challenges, tag films, uh, Zodiac series that I've started, we're currently up as far as Aries. Um, I've done Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces and Aries now. And uh, I even read you my favourite poem. So there's going to be something you can find. So uh, if you finish the drink that I told you to get at the start of this, then I suggest you refresh your drink, refresh your snack, put your food back up, pick a playlist, and indulge. And until then, all that remains for me to say, my darlings, as ever, is you'll stay fabulous, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.